Hey there, Mac Engine Beta 15A is out, let's give it a spin. Also their Patreon is now online. I don't know if these were there before but let's turn them on and uh, just jump right in. So uh, what happens now is the AI pathfinding is being calculated in Unity which does uh, slow it down, slow, uh, slow the loading times down and you can see a CPU spike right here. That's uh, that's because of that. All right. I don't remember. Why why did I just walk down this weird way? I guess falling is like that. I don't know. So. I don't remember seeing this mission this way. This is, by the way, the DOS files. Strange. Uh, let's... Oh yeah, I accidentally skipped the, the mission. Uh, that's fine, let's check out the next one. And there's gonna be another CPU uh, spike right here in a second. Come on now. There it is. Ravenfield, uh, a game I covered for a very long time, had that issue. Trial initiated. Wolf Clan protocol. All systems nominal. What is going on here? I don't remember seeing this. What is going on? Okay, I got out. What is that? Engagement sphere. Ah. Okay, okay, at least it doesn't keep saying that. How do we finish missions F12? I uh, could really use a hint. Okay, I pressed pretty much every key on escape. I don't know, backspace, I guess. Fun animation. This is the DOS PR PRJ. Are these the file elements? PRJ file. Oh, mission fail. Boo. Let me press back. Right, so what happens here is it doesn't even cache the um, nav mesh for AI pathfinding, which means every time we load a mission, it has to calculate it forever. Hopefully, in the future, you know, yada yada yada. So I already playtested this a bit, and I got stuck in a dropship earlier. Let's not, not here. Good. Not getting stuck in this. Oh, a mech. Let's go battle that one. Seems to be invincible. Fine then. I wonder what these engagement spheres are supposed to be doing. Maybe they fly uh, after you to make you not camp and blow up if they get too close. Can we snap that fool? No, I can't even target that fool. Also, that fool is standing midair. What? What is that? But hey, it beats not loading the mission at all. So yeah, pathfinding with Unity is built in pathfinding system instead of, I guess, a custom solution. Um, AIs currently don't fight because that gets in the way of analyzing pathfinding. Interestingly enough, in the future that will probably be a setting. Ambient sounds should now work. I noticed that in the first mission of the first campaign. I think we're gonna go there and check it out. Also, let me turn off that music. This looks nice. So empty, but so nice. Ooh, I didn't know they had movable trains in Mac 2. Kinda strange how this targeting box changes as you approach. Could that have to do with level of detail? Alright, something uh, does not quite work with the destruction of some mechs, but at least we can check out the lighting effect on it. I kind of seem to be hitting the ground behind it rather than it itself. Oh well, next mission. Color spin effect for polygons such as on the engines of dropships should now work properly, at least for the DOS version, which is what I'm using.
I guess um, that means that that the color uh, index or whatever you call that is animated. No, color palette, palette. That's what they call that. Is this an actual barrier that can prevent me from going? Okay, I didn't think so. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, oh, oh. You, you are a runny, runny one. Hey, hey, wait for me. Perfect. Guess that's it. Planet Morgan. Ambient temperature. Negative four. Five seven. Gotta love this. GST. Alright, if you listen closely, you can see some kind of ambient sounds. Kind of annoying. Hmm. How positional they are. Are you a generator? Are you invincible? You look pretty cool. But invincible. Okay, let's go into the shield of death. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Hal. Uh, Dave. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know where the shield generator might be. And these mechs are certainly not going to reveal it. Do I have to just destroy buildings? That might be it. Until I pick the right one. Hmm. I hear a cool sound some from somewhere. Do you hear that? What a nice background sound. But alas, no generator. Skipping to the next. Also, wow, this mission is so darkly lit. Trial initiated. Wolf mm, plan protocol. I'm just gonna skip this trial Optimism mission. Nominal. Yeah, stupid spawn point. Hmm. I guess we've reached the final mission, maybe? Because nothing's happening. And nothing's loading. Eh, whatever. Backspace doesn't work. Let's restart and let me... Oh, interesting. There's mission data text files that kind of look like this. This certainly looks like a dump of the uh, scene tree, if that's how you can call it in Unity. Anyways, let's start and try uh, the, the whatever campaign. Jade Falcon, of course. So we did clan both all this time. Now let's check out Jade Falcon and also turn off the music. Ah. Ah. I hate this. So this happens when you load stuff single threaded. There's... Okay, bye. I wanted, to, I wanted to check out this guy's uh, exhaust, because one of the change logs is about that. Also, one of the change logs is about this uh, helicopter ro rotor being transparent in the DOS version, but not in 3DFX. Hey, guy. Enemy mech destroyed. I am looking forward to being able to zoom in. But this mission we've seen so many times. Let me just destroy this and skip. I guess we've seen enough how uh, loading a mission affects performance. Yeah, we can get rid of that. Okay, no need to... Wow, this is loud. 
Yeah, some sounds are a bit uh, choppy. If you listen to the left... Well, now it's the front, now it's the left. Ugh, really unpleasant, at least in my ear. I don't know if editing will uh, make it less horrible. Yeah, okay, much better if I face that way. So weird, no idea what it is. Probably uh, some automatically detected parameters that just make no sense in the Unity engine, maybe, 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 maybe. I... Okay, the sound engine seems to be self-destroying itself. Let's see if the next mission is gonna fix that. Oof, I heard that click of relief. Alright, we're gonna call it a day night at this point. Yeah, many more missions load and are startable, and of course there's still a lot of ways to go. And if you're one of these people with disposable income, remember this project has a Patreon now. Until next time, ciao!